presents Fee Fi Fo Yum. Busy, busy. Uh, studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Alas. Welcome to Family Fun for You with me, Les Dennis. Well, uh, you what you do? Why you can't grab me? I'm a game I show. Can. Ah. Next, you munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, you can't eat it. I can. Watch me. Fella. I ain't that giant. Oh, it's Fee-Fi-Fo Yum! And today's contestants, all the way from Hertfordshire, are the hearts. And they'll be playing against the Barnsley Tights from Yorkshire. Here's a taste of the thrills and spills that stand between them and their freedom! Oh. And now, here he is, every giant's favourite host, it's Des, the coming Les Dennis! Oh. oh, I love it! I love it! Oh, yes! Hello! Hello and welcome to Fee Fi Fo Yum, the show where the team that's not the winner will end up as Brian's dinner. Yeah. That's right. Des, 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 pull my finger. Pull your finger. What? What? Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brian, you really are a disgusting giant. Oh, oh, pardon me. Yeah, leave it out, will you? Sorry, Des. Is it all right if I get on with the show? Yeah. Let's meet the hearts. <laughs> oh, Granny and Granny G here with the hearts. Hi, Eva. Hi, Les. Introduce us to your team. Well, this is Dylan. Hi, Les. Hi, Dylan. Uh, this is Sai. Hi, Les. Hi, Sai. Uh, this is Megan. Hi, Les. Hi, and Megan. At, and at the end there, that's Jasmine. Whoa! Both hands from Jasmine there. You're, you seem a really lively team. A team with a lot of heart. <laughs> the hearts. <laughs> Never mind. Tell me, what kind of team would you say you are? Um, we're a very sporty team and I think if we like stick together with each other, I think we can win our freedom. So you are a, a team with heart then. All right, that's the hearts. Let's go over and meet the Barnsley Tights! <laughs> Hiya, Hannah. Introduce us to your team. This is Sophia. Hi, Les. Hi, Sophia. That's Emily. Hi, Les. Hi, Emily. That's Thomas. Hi, Les. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Len. There's Callum. Hi, Les. Hi, Callum. Do you think you can beat the hearts? Yeah. So, what kind of team would you say you are? We're all, all friends, like, so hopefully we can stick together and make it a success. Is that how you all feel? Yes, yes Les. Les. OK, that's the teams! Oh, yeah. teams. This is how we play I'm Feet hungry. by Bo Yum. You will compete in a series of games trying to earn time. What does time mean? Freedom! Yes, because the more time you earn, the more chance you will have in the great escape at the end of the show. And remember, the team that gets beat, Brian's gonna... Eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brian, leave it out, will you? Moving swiftly on, let's play our first game. When Brian watches Fee Fi Fo Yum, there's nothing he likes more than a really nice cup of tea. Yum, but no ordinary brew, he likes it really sweet. And when I say sweet, I mean sweet. Ooh, yes. So your job, teams, in this game is to take the teaspoons that Brian has provided you with and catapult as many sugar lumps into the teacups as you possibly can. The team that gives Brian the sweetest cup of tea will earn the first five-second lifeline, but more importantly, take his mind off eating you for a while. Yummy, okay? yummy. <laughs> Don't want to worry you. All right, let's find out who's going to play. Teeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think you should have a go. Megan and Eva. You'd be nice with my cup of tea, and I want Callum and Hannah. Mm. Ryan's made his choice. Teams, let's play! Keep me sweet. Teams, you have until Brian's egg timer runs out to make him the sweetest cup of tea you possibly can. Good luck. Brian, it's over to you. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 because if it goes into your opponent's teacup, they'll get the score. Oh, good shot. That was close, that was 
nearly from the heart into the Bosley Tanks Club. Oh, oh, that's it, really. Nearly pulled back. Very carefully. Oh. Fifteen seconds. One concentrate now. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Time's up. Players, rejoin your teams. Look at this sugar everywhere. We'll have to clean that up because the ants will have it and you want to see the size of the ants round here. Well, the Hearts team, you got one sugar lump in. Ooh. Good. Is it good enough? The Barnsley Tykes got three in, so that means nice. you have the first five-second lifeline. Well done. But there's still plenty to play for. That's all for part one of Fee Fi Fo Yum. Join us after this. Oh. <laughs> When I were a lad, I used to go to Nan's house every Friday for me tea. Oh, I remember it well. She'd make heaps of lovely cake and we'd wash it all down with a nice brew. Nan's always make the best cuppa. With a full of flavour that's strong and rounded, reach for the Old Grey Lady. Each Old Grey Lady is matured longer to give you that stale, past its best taste. Everyone knows that nuns make the best tea. Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Yum. At the end of the first round, the Barnsley Tykes took an early advantage and got the first five second mm. lifeline. But take heart, hearts, there's still plenty of time up for grabs. What does time mean? Freedom! That's right, because remember, if the other team beat ya, Brian's gonna eat ya! <laughs> now, talking about eating, this is Brian's favourite part of the show. Oh, not mine. Oh! Oh, Brian! Go on then, introduce it. It's Dezzy's Tasty Challenge! I told you before, it's Les's Tasty Challenge, but at least you managed to say that without letting one go. Oh, oh no! What did I say that for? I can only apologise, viewers. Desi's Tasty Challenge! Oh. Pardon me. I'm sorry about his wind, Dylan. Mm. He absolutely stinks. I know. Huh? Um, I, I said, uh, this is a really good show. Me thinks. Yeah! <laughs> OK, now then, teams. Brian has put some food under here. I hope it's not whatever he's been eating. I don't know what it is. You have to guess how much of it I can eat in 30 seconds. Let's reveal the meal. Ah, uh, yes, I think it might be what he's been eating. It's beans. <laughs> what buster? Beans. Cold, it looks like as well. How many spoonfuls of baked beans do you think I can eat in 30 seconds? I don't believe I'm going to do this. Write this down on your cards, OK? And don't show it to your opposing team, so have a think. I reckon maybe nine. Oh, I reckon twenty. Got your guesses written down? Keep them to yourselves, OK? Right. I'm ready. As I'll ever be. Brian, can I have my light, please? Oops. Sorry, oh, Des. I'm sorry about this. At least you're not watching in smelly vision. <laughs> right, I'm ready. Let's go. Come on, come on! Come on, come on, Les! Come on, come on! Come on, Les! Go on! Come on. 90. Started, so you're finished. I have finished. Look. Hmm. All gone. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, hearts. How many spoonfuls of the Bob Buster's beans did you put down? We did nine. 
You did nine. Hmm. Did I do nine? Or did I do more or less? So, Barnsley Tykes, how many did you put down? Six. Six. Brian, how many spoonfuls of Bop Buster Beans did I eat? Jez, you have eaten 14 spoonfuls of Bop Buster Beans. My oh, favourite. Yes. Well done, the hearts. You get a five-second lifeline. It's neck and neck. That could be really important and really tense when we get to the great escape at the end of the show. Mm. So, that's all for this part of fee fi fo yum Stay tuned to find out which team of humunchies will end up in Brian's tub. See you soon. Sorry, guys. Here they sit now. Especially after that. <laughs> Important job interview. Oh, dear. That doesn't sound good. Desperate to make a good impression. I'm not sure that's going to get you the job. And that definitely won't. <coughs> Time to run! <laughs> if only she was wearing a guff muffler. Fitted in seconds, the guff muffler cuts out those gusset grumbles, leaving you free to get on with what's important. Hello? Yes, I I'd like to order six. Guff mufflers, please. Your giant television. Better make that seven. Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Yum. What a close contest. Both teams, the Hearts and the Barnsley Tykes, have five second lifelines, but there's plenty of time up for grabs as we play our next game. Now, everybody knows that giants love to play with their food, but more <laughs> importantly to them is watching humunchies, that's you guys, play with their food. So that's where you come in. In this game, we want you to dive into Brian's soup and pull out letters to make the longest word you possibly can. You can only take up to eight letters at one time, but if you don't like any of the letters, you can change them. The team that makes the longest word will win that five-second lifeline. Is that clear, teams? Yes, yes! So, Brian, who's going into the soup? For this game, I'm going to pick... Sigh. Perfectly bite-sized and tallness. I'm going to scoff you down in one. And who will be making the words? I'm going to go with Jasmine and Dylan. You'll slip down a treat. And Sophia and Emily. Brian's made his choice. Let's play! Alphabet Soup. So, Cy and Thomas, you'll be diving for the letters. You'll pass them to Jasmine and Emily, who will then pass them to Dylan and Sophia, who will make the words. As always, you have until Brian's egg timer runs out. Good luck, teams. Goggles on. Three, two, one. OK, they're both in. That should give them plenty of encouragement. Remember, just get your eight letters out there, then you can decide which ones you like. Oh, loads of soup on that. You need to find a word, but it's not a name. It can't be text speak. And it can't be rude. You can't be rude. You can always put letters back. That's not a word. You've got nine letters. Take one back, sir. Which is a good letter back. Aria. You're thinking of making a long time, you've got... Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Looking good. Come on, now, guys. Time's up. Oh, time is up. OK, players, back to your teams. So, the hearts team. Whoa, there's a lot of soup on that floor there. What word have you come up with? Rains. Rains. Yes, that's a good word. It's a five-letter word. Well done. 
and we go over to the Barnsley Tykes. What word have you come up with? Whisper. 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 Mm. But is it spelt correctly? Brian, mm. is that the right spelling of whisper? Uh, yeah. No. OK, no, it's uh, Whisper's got H-E-R. It's a Whisper bar. It's a chocolate bar. Uh, we, we can't have names of things. It's not in Brian's dictionary, sorry. So that means that the Hearts team get the all-important five-second lifeline and go into the lead. What an exciting contest. We're going to have a break. You guys, pay attention, because I'll be quizzing you on the ads when we come back. And you can play along at home as well. Not that your life depends on it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey, Mr. Giant. Nice day, isn't it? What's the matter? Come on, take your hands away. And the other one. Now both at the same time. Whoa! That's one hairy schnozzer, you big hairy freak show. <laughs> uh, but don't be sad, because help is at hand in the shape of the waste not want not nose hair yanker. Simply apply the yanker to the unwelcome hairy blockage, and off you go. Whoa there, big guy, don't fight it. Just let it work its magic. Oh yeah, that's gotta feel good. And hey, don't waste all that lovely nose hair. Why not have it made into a fancy new hairdo? Waste not want not. The Waste Not Want Not Nose Hair Yanker. 105 grots. Stocks limited. If too much loud music is giving you earache, then you need the all new and improved. Simply raise your left elbow a little higher and raise the Medi Mallet a little lower. And now apply firmly. Yeah, now you're rocking! The Medi Mallet won't cure your earache, but it'll sure take your mind off it. Medi Mallet! If symptoms persist, don't blame us. Welcome back to B5 Go Yum! So, guys, I hope you've been watching and listening very carefully because I'm about to quiz you on the ads you've just seen on GTV. If you think you know an answer, buzz in, but be careful because if you give me an incorrect answer or you don't answer at all, I'll pass it over to your opponents. The hearts, you have a 10-second lifeline. Well done. Barnsley Tykes, you have a five-second no, lifeline. So you're five seconds behind. This is your last chance to get some potentially life-saving time. All right, good luck, teams. Fingers on the buzzers as we play... Add analysis. OK, question one. In the Waste Not, Want Not, Hair Yanker ad, the voiceover described the giant's nose as a hairy what? Bonesy tykes. Snot. Snot? <coughs> no, I'm going to have to put it across to the hearts. Snozzer. <laughs> Snozzer? Let's have a listen. Whoa! That's one hairy schnozzer. Yes, well done. You have two seconds. Question two. How many spinning hands does the waste not want not oh. nose her yanker have? Hearts four. again. Four. 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 It is four. Well done. That's the ticket. You need to get in, Barnsley Tykes. Question three. In the Medi Mallet earache ad, what was the giant wearing on his head? Ooh, Barnsley Tykes. Let me think. Earphones. Earphones? Yes, headphones. We'll accept earphones. Well done. So, question four. Too much loud music was giving the giant what? Bonsley tykes. Bonsley tykes. Earache. Earache. Yes, earache is the correct answer. Question five. Where did the giant apply the Medi Mallet? Hearts. Yes. Onto his left elbow. Onto his specifically left elbow. Yeah, now you're rocking. Yes, it was. It was the left elbow. Well done. At the end of that round, the hearts got three right, which is six oh, seconds. Shot. Well done. Barnsley Tykes got two right, which is four Ooh. seconds. How does that affect your overall lifelines? Let's find out. After this word from Jim Elastic. Thanks, Les. On today's Get Up and Go Go, I'm having a right royal workout at Buckingham Palace. So come on, Giants, join me, Jim Elastic, after Fee Fi Fo Yum here on GTV. Come on, Your Majesty! Woo! You're watching GTV. Problem solved. Let's get it. Welcome back, 
Things are getting deadly serious. Teams, this is down to you. Brian's not picking anymore. You must decide who is going to take on the great escape. <laughs> this decision is enormous for both teams. Whoever steps up to the mark will have the fate of their teammates literally in their hands. <laughs> OK, teams. You should have made your decision by now. So, the Hearts team, who's playing and why? Um, we're choosing Megan because we think she's really athletic and she's always there for us, so we hope she will be this time. OK, no pressure there then, Megan. Good luck. And the Barsley Tykes, who's playing and why? Thomas. Thomas, because he's really sporty and he's um, fast and he's determined to do it all the time. <laughs> OK, good. You both seem like you're really positive about the plays you've chosen. Megan and Thomas, it's time for... The Great Escape. This is it. Megan and Thomas, Brian has trapped your teammates in the scales of justice. And their future hangs literally in the balance. It's down to you two to try to release them, but standing between you and them is the great escape. First, you must tackle the donut dash. Then it's on to the kitchen roll crawl. Watch out for those meatballs! Once safely across, you will then hit the rolling pin run. But beware, Brian's got those tea bags out. Once across, you must complete the chock bar challenge, building a walkway to Brian's big bowl, and then it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The player that reaches the top first must pull the release rope. Only then can your teammates be released down the freedom chute. I don't need to remind you, the team that's not the winner will be Brian's... Dinner! So, the Hearts team, you have an overall lifeline of 16 seconds. It's very good. Is it good enough? <laughs> Barnsley Tykes, you have an overall lifeline of... Nine seconds, so it means the Hearts <laughs> have a seven-second lead. Megan, how do you feel about that? Very excited. I hope I help my team. That's your job. Well done. And what about you, Thomas? Do you think you can catch up? Yeah. Think you think so? so? Yeah. Where do you think you'll be able to catch up? About on the slippery slope. On the slippery slope. OK, good luck, teams. Megan, you will go on Brian's first whistle, and then Thomas, seven seconds later, you will go on Brian's second whistle. Clear? Yeah. Yes. Good luck, teams. Brian, it's over to you. Okay, and Megan is away. She's going through that donut dash. And there you go. Oh, he's very fast. Will he be able to catch up? Megan's onto the rolling pin run. Thomas is still fighting those meatballs. That's it, Megan. You're no good at this. <laughs> as well as you can. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, well done. You're onto the chop bar challenge. You're both onto the chop bar challenge. So take care on this. This is the tricky one. This is where the time really counts. It's close on this one as well. They're both doing well on the chop bar challenge. Megan's got all pieces there, but have you got the right order? I don't know. Thomas may have caught up here. That's seven seconds. He's managed to dispel, I think. Megan, how are you doing? Thomas has done it. He's got the jump on challenge. He's into Brian Soup. Megan, we think that last little bit may be the last one.
but she has to try as many times as Thomas to get out of this slide. Watch your hands on the side. Use as much grip as you can. close for so long and then you got stuck with the chalk bar challenge I'm so sorry it means that you didn't release your teammates so you're not the winner you're Brian's dinner yeah I'm sorry over to you Brian I hear you <laughs> oh guys I'm so sorry this is gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you maybe not Rules are rules! Fee fi fo yum! You munchy! I like them chewy! Chomping away on his five a day, but that won't keep him happy for long. Join us next time when two new teams of few munchies will fight for their freedom and try to stay out of Brian's tongue. Uh, See you then. No. <laughs> Say goodbye, Brian. Goodbye, Brian. <laughs> I tell you what, Brian, I'm really pleased you fitted that goth muffler. It stopped you. I'm now well and truly in control of my output. <laughs> oh. Spoke too soon. Hello, BBC One and the CBBC channel is Big <coughs> Club Fridays and at 5.30 on aforementioned CBBC channel is Simon Marks TMI Friday. Uh, Ian, I want to go on Simon Marks TMI Friday. Mate, I'm actually implementing a plan to get us on TMI Friday. Are you in? Yep. And you're part of the plan as well, yeah? I've got my own plan, baby. All right, Dodge, me and you, Operation JLS. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, just for one week, can we not call it Mark and Sam's TMI Friday? Please. Mm, let me think. No. Oh, lads, no, lads. Oh, lads. All right, Ian, come good on, have a seat. Seat. All right, mate. Yeah, you well? Yeah, yeah good. Because the, the question oh. is this. The question is this, lads. Yeah. Uh, can I, Ian Sterling, please be on TMI Friday this week? Sam, what do you think? Wait, 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 wait. What has me? How about if I get you a top TMI guest? Who is it? Well, of JLS fame, it is. JLS! Whoa! Yo, Whoa! yo, yo, yo! You alright, JLS? What's happening? You got a brand new single out or something? Yes, I do, baby! Hit it! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hang on. Stop! No, wait, stop! Stop! In stop. the mind, in the mind! No, I'm not in the mind, in the mind, mind. Huh? That is Heart Vacancy, the wanted single. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're not JLS, you're Dodge T Dog. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, I am. Get a, out. Well, I'm appalled at that. Yeah, there's I'm... not even five members of JLS. Yeah, unbelievable. You get out as well. No, what's get it? out. Oh. Oh,